This is Crimson Pleasure from Real Women in Gaming, and I'm sitting here with my good friend Eric. Hello! And I'm actually sitting here because uh, Eric has a, a very impressive uh, Nintendo, uh, Nintendo, original Nintendo collection that I am staring at, and just in childhood all. And, um, and how many, okay, so, I don't, I don't even know where to start. I'm just... <laughs> so, okay, wh how long ago did you start collecting? So, I actually had an original Nintendo Christmas of 85, uh -huh. and then, you know, of course, the Black Box games, and you had a game for years, and that's what you played it to death, so that was golf and pinball, mm -hmm. and I think we had we had regular Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt and uh, Legend of Zelda yeah. and then Dragon Warrior, and uh, I've just kind of collected over the years. It really picked up about four years ago, and now I'm up to about 540. 40 games, I think it was my total. Oh my god. And, so. Okay, so <laughs> how many how many official Nintendo titles are there? So the it, that's the problem, is it really it's really hard to get an official count because people will say, well, you've got to include the PAL version of the games, you've got to include the Sachin version of the game. Okay, <laughs> so just for people who have no idea what you're talking about, explain PAL and Sachin. Okay, so you have your original NTSC North America released games. And there's probably, I think there's like 676 of them or something. Okay. Then there's what's called PAL versions of games. And those are re released in European countries. Okay. Right? And um, those are games like Prince Valiant, um, Mr. Gimmick, which was a very rare game because it was only released in a, a few Scandinavian countries. Um, a lot of your soccer games were yeah. more popular over there, so they yeah. released... Um, international cricket <laughs> never going to be popular in the United States. It was only released in Australia. It's a shame. Cricket is an amazing game. <laughs> um, and there's some games that were a little bit more controversial. So, um, Devil World. Okay. Um, of course, it had like crosses and stuff in it, and it was like, oh, it's sacrilege. You can't have that in the United States. Uh, and there's several of those PAL games. And now all of our games are Devil <laughs> World. Yeah, Sacrilege and then there's uh, Sachin Games. Now, Sachin Games were actually made by a company, I think out of Hong Kong. Okay. I don't know a lot of the details on it. Um, they were some weird games. They were like Mahjong. Um, the ones that people sometimes don't consider NES games. There was a lot of pirated games that come out of there. Is it Okay, so I, I, I also think that's where... There were some adult games. There were. There's there's a <laughs> handful of adult games that were in the United States. Uh, they were made by Sachin, or American Color, American Dreams. There's there's another company that kind of bought them too. There's three of them. There's uh, Bubble Bath Babes. <laughs> um, oh gosh, dang it! There's a poker game. And I think Honey Peach or something like that. Anyway, there's yeah, there's like three of these pornographic, <laughs> and they're not really that bad. They're like well, soft by, porn, not and, by today's standards. By today's standards, they're like girls in bikinis. Very, I mean, it's Skinamax. Yeah, you would get worse off of what um, The Witcher. No, that that one, the, like the beach volleyball one. Oh, uh, Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. Beach volleyball. I, I mean, you get I, a lot more off of that I than what you do. That, I, I played the crap out of Dead or Alive Beach um, Volleyball. Now, there is one, I don't think it came out on the Nintendo, but it did come out on Atari, which is like Custer's Last Stand, and your goal is to like, basically fuck all these Indians, and that's how you look. <laughs> you might edit that, but... <laughs> But that was your job, and it was for the Atari, and that was that what you, what you had to do, is, and you had to avoid these arrows while you were doing it. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's a real thing that happens, avoid arrows while having sex. Oh, yeah. So, okay, so um, you started this four years ago, and, and there's, no, there's no idea of how many games really are out there. Uh, um, okay, so of my list that I currently have, I think I wanted, I think it's 800 and something I want to try to get to. Oh, Jesus. Um, and and now, at... that includes most of the PALs. Um, and a couple of reproduction cartridges, which I'll never get the real ones of, mm -hmm. um, you know, stadium events, um, you know, which could run 10 to $15,000, um, Nintendo world champions. Mm -hmm. I'm never going to get one of those cause they're going to run 
I don't know, fifty to sixty thousand dollars a piece. Yeah. For the gold versions. Jesus Christ. And I only know of two people online that actually have the gold versions of them. And they just mock you guys. They're like, Well, no, one and one's really good. I mean, I was very surprised. It's like Pat the NES nerd or something like that. And he, he he actually was on Pawn Stars. Oh, was he? Yeah, yeah. And he brought him into Pawn Stars and he brought the, the gray cartridge and the, the the gold cartridge in there. And you could just see the look on his face when Chum was like 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 carrying him around you could just see this flush uh, in Pat's face and he's like holy crap <laughs> I I had an experience with that there um I used to work for a video game store and we'll leave it at that very long time ago and um if you're a good video game store you sell everything and and somebody came in looking for a Super Nintendo game and I was checking the box real quick and I pulled the the instructions out too quickly and apparently I bent it and I was like but he didn't tell me it was like a collector's thing no. I assumed he was coming in for his kid I would have like kid gloves like dealt with everything <laughs> but he was like you know I was like I really want this game so I had to check on everything and he was like you you just bent it and then like walked out and I looked at my boss and I'm like what did I do wrong he said nothing you did nothing wrong. <laughs> well if you worked at the video store it was probably that uh Flintstones Dinosaur Peak it could have been. Because that's the only, it was only at like Blockbuster videos or the, like those video stores like that. They only sold it there. That's why a lot of collectors won't really consider it a NTSC, you know, re US released game. Because you could only rent it at Blockbuster. You wow. could only rent it at these stores. Huh. You could never actually buy a copy of it. So a lot of people don't consider those real games. So. That's weird. Um, so you said you have 500... 540. 540, yeah. and you're trying to get 800? Clo clo as close as I can to 800. Jesus. Uh, I, there's, of course, I think of right now that the last 40 that I got to get will be above $250 a piece. Uh, the last 12 will be over $1,000 a piece. Wow. And I don't think I'll get the last 12. <laughs> 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 I think the closest I'll come to there is reproduction cartridges of those. Well, well, well I mean, it's it's you're going to have a complete collection, and, and as long as it makes you happy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's more just to look at and be like, aha, I have these. <laughs> I, and my and my friends can come over and relive. My I, my husband is right now playing... What are you playing, sweetie? Tecmo Bowl. Tecmo Bowl. <laughs> original Tecmo Bowl. Original, my husband is playing original Tecmo Bowl while we do this interview. So, um, okay, so you have three, four, six, seven games uh, I think in there's a case? eight systems plugged up. Eight no, the, I'm talking about the case over here on the left. Oh, the, the Mega Man series? Okay, is that the Mega yeah, Man Yeah, that's one through six. I have them all set up in the, in the case. As to kind of like my coup de grace of a, a complete collection of something. <laughs> so is it, were you just a really big fan of Mega Man? Um, you know, I really wasn't as much. I love two because that's the only game, I mean, that was a really popular version a lot of people in the United States that got hooked on Mega Man got hooked on too because it was, it had a level of difficulty, but it wasn't NES hard. Mm -hmm. It wasn't to the point where you really couldn't beat it. <laughs> you could if you spent enough time, learn all the patterns, and beat Doctor Wily, and be like, yeah, yeah I won. Uh, it was the first NES game that I that I can remember beating. Okay. Um, uh, me and my cousin played it all night long, and we just got stuck on Doctor Wily. Could not figure out. We tried everything to kind of kill him in the last bout, and realized we had to kill him with a stupid metal bubble crap that, like, you never. It had no purpose in the rest of the game except they kill Doctor Wily at the beginning. And we finally figured it out. It was like three o'clock in the morning. We were wow. all excited, but that was the first game I actually do remember beating. <laughs> That's awesome. I actually, you have the first game I ever beat. Which was? It's Barbie. <laughs> yeah. <it's on. laughs> so okay, so so Nintendo came out in 1985. I was four. When it came out, so I got one when I was like five or six. So it was really, I was really into like you know, I was into some girl stuff when I was younger. I was into girl stuff before I discovered Nintendo. <laughs> I was a girl, and <laughs> and then I then I became a gamer, and because uh, I played like Final Fantasy, original Final oh, Fantasy, yeah. And, yeah, I've got that one over there, and Super uh, Super Mario Brothers, and Super Mario World, and, and all that stuff. Um, but like I was in the Barbie and my, my dad went out and bought me the Barbie game. And I think I was talking to you about this last time you came up to visit <laughs> because I remember there's this level and I don't, I don't like, I don't know why I remember this. There's a level where you're dodging pizzas being thrown at you <laughs> yeah. and you have to jump out of the way of the pizza. I think you're in a mall and yeah. I don't, I don't remember the premise of the game, but I distinctly remember 
And, it, like, it, it, I was a child, so there's no logical reason for me to question why Barbie was dodging full pizzas, not even slices, full pizzas being chucked at me. And Barbie is dodging them. Now as I'm an adult, I'm like, who throws full pizzas? I mean, unless you're a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> but they would eat it first. So... No, I think it was the, the first game. The first game I fell in love with was Final, the original Final Fantasy, uh, which I just recently beat. Oh. Ah. I think last year. Now, on did my you tablet. play the? Or, so you played the tablet version of yeah, it? Yeah, I, I cheated. Oh my so, god, I cheated so. <laughs> if you've ever see, I never actually had the original Final Fantasy. The only time I got to play Final Fantasy was an emulated version of it, mm -hmm. and I tried the Four White Maid Challenge, and that took me oh, months, okay. <laughs> months. And I, I still don't think I beat the game. But no, I oh god! <laughs> it, 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 beating it normally drove me nuts. But I so. did. Yeah, I tried to do the four white mage challenge. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> and that's that is a that is making it NES art. Um, uh, but my game was. Uh, I love the RPGs. Oh, uh, yeah. My mom and I used to play Zelda hours and hours. I, and I missed hours. the original Zelda. The second one pissed me off. And she would sit and play the game, and I would make out the maps. Oh, that's awesome. Because I was only like six or seven, so yeah. I didn't have the mental capacity to play it and beat that game at that time. But she would sit and play it, and we'd play for hours. Wow. We played that game, and we were all excited when we beat it the first time. We're like, yes, we beat this game! And then you realize there's a second quest, and you're like, crap! <laughs> and then nothing's where it was at the first time. Like, I like, won! Son of a bitch. I, I won! Wait, where? <laughs> Why, why, where's the you won screen? Where, oh god. Yeah, yeah, and you can play the whole game over with, and things are twice as hard. And, yeah. Yeah. And then we played Dragon Warrior together. Dragon Warrior's and, awesome. Oh gosh, that game was, now, I love wait, playing that game. So, okay, here's, when when you start Dragon Warrior, uh, no, you know what, it's Ultima. We had Dragon Warrior, but I remember Ultima. I think Ultima, when you started Ultima and asked you a series of questions, and you had to answer the oh, questions. like scary, right? you're not catching is that Ultima? I know Taboo does that. It's really no, weird. No, I think it was Ultima. If you have it, if you have it, we'll ch we'll check and see if I'm right. But one of the game, one of the RPGs, I remember um, when you started out, it asked you like personality questions, like you know, if this happened, like you're walking in the woods and like oh, yeah. it's hurt, and like what do you do? And like and 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 then you got your character based off of that. Now this is well before the internet, and I always wanted to be like a fighter. I was mad because I kept getting, I kept getting anything but the fighter, and I'm like, I would restart and I like try different choice, and like, I, and then I would write down like what gets you what. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, maybe that was King's Quest Five. It might have been King's Quest. Because I think I remember that happening there. I don't know. Cat, Cat played like tons of King's Quest. Cat's my wife, by the way. <laughs> I, I, I haven't played the new King's Quest. I was really excited to see it, but when I saw it, when I saw that it was like another like Telltale. Mm. I was a little disappointed, but I'm still gonna play it because I was I was that that was like my first computer game, the King's Quest games. Oh, we played game. the heck out of Oregon Trail. Oh god! And uh, we used to. I always sneak. died of dysentery. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we actually made tombstones for outside for Halloween that said, well, you, "You've died of dysentery." <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Insert one coin to continue or something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, in in school. You know, our school was kind of years behind the times on anything. So yeah. we didn't get internet in my school until, until 1998. Wow. Uh, until my senior year of high school. And uh, I remember we had Commodore 64s and we had some 286s. And the 286s were just powerful enough you could play uh, uh, Wolfenstein 3D. Uh huh. And so we'd always sneak into the lab and play Wolfenstein whenever we could. And, we, and, it, and the, the 64s, we'd end up playing Gorillas. Wow. And you could, like, throw gorillas and bananas at each other, try to blow each other up with bananas. It was so dumb, and the graphics were horrible. <laughs> it was, like, worse than Atari. I still have my 64. I love my 64. Oh, they were great. 64s were amazing. I actually, I, I think I became more of a gamer when, uh, with the Super Nintendo, because uh, the American release of uh, Final Fantasy 2, which I think is their Final yeah. Fantasy 3... No, I think it's... Six. No, Final Fantasy 3 was our fun, Final Fantasy 6. Final Fantasy 2 is, I think, Final Fantasy 5 or 4. I, I can't remember. Radia is my I favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Radia and the dragons and everything. Yeah. Um, so, I... Okay, so you pointed this out to me before we started recording. You have a letter 
I do. I have a letter that I wrote to Nintendo Power Magazine, and I got a response back. Um, This was back in 95, so I was still 15 and a geek, and I guess I had figured out some trick to Secret of Mana, and they wrote me a letter back. Secret of Mana? Oh, God, I remember that. Yeah, but they misspelled it. (laughs) They said Secret of Man. I'm like, what the heck is Secret of Man? (laughs) The Secret of Man code you sent was excellent, Agent Triple Zero. I, I, I didn't know I was an Agent Triple Zero either. <laughs> and then I was like, well, you better tell me about this, uh, what is it, Anna, Animalities in Mortal Kombat 3, because I remember they'd done an article in Mortal Kombat 3. I'm like, you better tell me, because I'm going to hurt my teachers. And they're like, well, your teachers better run for cover, because we're not telling you. <laughs> and Tobias is... Or Ed Boone's address. Or... Yeah, you asked for Ed Boone's address, threatening your teachers if you didn't get it. Well, they better start shaking because <laughs> we ain't got it. Ed and John Tobias are really happy that so many players enjoy their Mortal Kombat games, but designing new games is more uh, than a full-time job for them. That's awesome. So, yeah, I got that. And that was just cool to get back. And you're, you're a kid and you're, you listen to Nintendo, you read the Nintendo Power and you're like, oh my god, I got a letter back from Nintendo. <laughs> and you got published. Okay, and this one's you got published in a Nintendo Power. So I did. Uh, this is issue, I think, 53. Um, it's the one that Super Mario All-Stars, I think, on the front of it. Uh-huh. And the question was, as well, what would you like to see uh, Nintendo characters on? So you have a few people that have replied... Um, I'd like to see it on Bubblegum, you know, so you can have Yoshi Mint and Princess Bubblegum and all this other neat stuff. Yeah. And dumb me, I, I didn't know any better. I'm like, you know what, let's put Ganon on tax forms. And I'm like, there's no way that they're going to <laughs> say yes to that. <laughs> and they, of course, replied to it. They're like, yeah, we're going to call the IRS right away. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, really? But it did. It got published in there. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and, then, and then what is this? Um... So we went to BronyCon, okay, and some artist found I found some artist did that, and I like to put like kind of personal artwork or just kind of cool artwork, sport local artist and yeah. stuff like that. And I just thought that was neat. It has like Link and Shadow Link as kids, and they're like on wooden horses <laughs> and they're just fighting at each other with wooden swords, and it's just a really cool picture. That's adorable. <laughs> I love that. And then you have the you crawl and then you did the you have the picture of Hyrule. I have the uh, the Hyrule map, map from uh, the Link to the Past. Uh huh. Yeah. And then on the other wall, I have Dragon Warrior. Um, the map is actually on the back, but I have the original thing for that. And then I have the Secret of Mana uh, poster on the other wall, uh-huh. along with my huge Lego ship. And then I have a, a ha- wall hanging that I actually made of the uh, Mega Man Two Select Screen. As, of course, being the first game I ever beat, yeah, uh, I, I, I cross stitched all the little characters on it, so I think it looks pretty cool. It looks like, amazing. <laughs> it looks My mom actually helped me put it together after I cross stitched everything. It looks amazing, <laughs> I, and and most people don't know Eric actually cross stitched this beautiful uh, birth announcement for my daughter, and he saw because we did her her birth. We did our pregnancy announcement. Of, um, our friend Josh Minas, who does all of, uh, who did all of the artwork, he he came up with game, uh, guy the gamer for Real Women Gaming. He put together the original pregnancy yeah. announcement where it's Radia and and uh, Kane from Final Fantasy II. Um, no, C- Dark Cecil, wasn't it? Oh, sorry, 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 Cecil. <laughs> Cecil, um, and. Uh, he he put them together and and it's really funny like the attacks and and stuff like that. But you saw that and so you made a yeah. a, a pregnancy or a birth announcement with them. And my favorite is Cecil walking away and his sword's pointing out. And there's a dirty diaper hanging off of his sword. <laughs> and he looks like he's just running. And the chocobo and and there's I think there's a Moogle in there. I'll have to take. Yeah, a yeah, that's pretty cool. But no, that was amazing. That's my favorite thing. That I pre- I treasure that almost as much as. My <laughs> I have another one that I'm actually making for uh, my boss, and uh, I've got it designed, and I won't say too much about it in case he ever does listen to this pod, but, okay. uh, you know, I usually go around work and I'm like, hey, you know, ones that are pregnant or something like that, what's your favorite 
cartoon or video game. The reason why I made yours because you saw the first one that I made for a coworker of mine. Le- yeah, you did a. I link. Le- did a Legend of Zelda uh, Ocarina of Time baby bib, mm-hmm. and uh, you I got all excited. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> god so I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'll make a version. Well, now I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that one was a lot of fun. I'm working on one now. It's uh, actually a Secret of Mana one. Uh, it's probably going to take me about 1,600 hours. Wow. Uh, I'm still on blues. I've been working on blues for, I don't know. You're so much more patient. Like, <laughs> give me give me a boss. Give me a white dragon that I have to go in and fight. But ask me to like sit down and cross-stitch something. And like I'll stab somebody. Like, I'll, I'll lose my patience very quickly and, and be done with it. Um, so, all right, so one question, I think I've asked you before, personally, um, mm-hmm. uh, you're, so if, when you get to the point where it's, it's going to go into the thousands, are you going to start on Super Nintendo? Yeah, yeah, I'm probably going to start converting, because the good thing about Super Nintendo is there's only a handful of games that are more than $200. Okay. Um, you can probably accumulate in any, uh, a Super NES collection for pretty cheap. Yeah. Um. You know, of course, your Mega Man series, you know, Mega Man X2 and X3 are going to be in the $200 range, and then your Earthbound and, you know, your Chrono Triggers, and, you know, like your popular titles that everybody wants to I have. Know, Con- I know Conqueror's Bad Fur Day goes for... Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, but that's for the 64. Oh, that's the 64, yeah, right. Yeah, and That's get- great, because <laughs> that was like, you, you get to beat a pile of crap. And the yes. place, that's one of the, I actually, <laughs> the singing Mighty Poo. Yeah, I, I actually, I, I played... Uh, Conqueror's Bad for a Day a very, very long time ago when it first came out. And I was like, I don't know why I'm playing this game. My, my boyfriend <laughs> it's hilarious. At the time, my boyfriend at the time had gotten it. And and it was... it, it was it, It's funny at some points, but at other points it was just like... The teddy bears, the, they scared the shit out of me. <laughs> well, it's kind of like playing like Booger Man, a pick and flick adventure, Earthworm Jim, you know? All of them are kind of gross and funny. <laughs> Maybe that's where, like, my gamer ends. Like, I don't do gross. As soon as gross comes into play, I'm like, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> um, no, but this is, like, this is incredible. And you, are, are you going to just keep going? Like, you have, I see you have some Sega um, games in place, uh, I really PlayStation. Wanna, and... So I really want to get to the point where I just have all the games that I remember growing up with. Uh-huh. And so that's why I started collecting the NES. I'll get to the Super NES, but I probably won't go much farther than that because by the time the Nintendo 64 came out, I was kind of old and I was going off to, you know, I was a high schooler or going off to college, so it was like, eh, you know. But I remember playing the Super Nintendo games, and so I'll end up getting most of those before it's over with, but that'll probably still be another 10 years down the road before I even start on that. Well, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> do it again yeah. in 10 years and be like, ah, oh, I have the other shelf filled. <laughs> I have more games. But I am picking up some of the uh, the reproduction cartridges now, which are kind of nice. Uh, now, okay, so you have the reproduction carpet cartridge of Final Fantasy 2. 2, yes. That was only released in Japan. It was never released in the United States. It was actually planned on being released in the United States, and they'd done almost all the translations for it, and it was ready to go. And then, you know, that's Nintendo, six, Nintendo Super Nintendo was out, and they're like, well, we're just not going to bring it out. Because right. it was almost complete and ready, and it's yeah. like, well, no, who's going to buy it now? Everybody's buying Super Nintendo. Which is, okay, so, uh, and that, I th- is that, I, well, I think that's where the confusion starts of the, their Final Fantasy 2 to yeah, Final yeah. Fantasy. Yeah, so, yeah, that's where it starts getting really confusing is because the U.S. never actually got Final Fantasy 2 or Final Fantasy 3 for the regular Nintendo. They got Final Fantasy 2 and 3 on the Super Nintendo. Yeah. And that's how the names changed that kind of happened. Which aren't the original Final Fantasy right. 2 and 3. Yeah. And, and Now, you can get 2 and 3. You can get 2, I think you have it on the PlayStation, yeah. you know, the Game Boy Advance. There's different versions of that out there. They've remade 2, 3, 4. I mean, you can get all of the Final well, Fantasy Well, for the games. PlayStation, I remember I, I own it. For the PlayStation, you can actually get, like, the... The Final Fantasy Collection. Yeah, I've like, got Collection Anthology. Yeah, there. that yeah. is that's it. And yeah. you get like the first six or something yeah. or, or something like that. Um, I think Chronicles had one and two, and then Anthology came with four and Chrono Trigger. And yeah, then, which you yeah. gave me. Thank yeah, you I much. gave you a copy. Of, I, I found a copy of it somewhere. Well, yeah. You donated it and it <laughs> made its way into my collection. Because, I well, I played um, Chrono Cross. Yeah. And I never played, I never beat Chrono Trigger. Um, and I put 
I easily put almost as much time into Chrono Cross as I did Final Fantasy VII. Wow. Which is a feat. Because, like, <laughs> I think the clock stops on Final Fantasy So Like, you reach a certain amount of time, and, like, it stops counting, like, how long you've played. It, it gives up. <laughs> Sony gives up on you. It's like, I, I don't... You need to go outside. And, because I had, like, Knights of the Round, I had the Gold Chocobos, I had everything that you needed to defeat the game. You just um, never did it. <laughs> no, I, I no, I defeat I defeated seven, but um, uh, but yeah, no, I had um, somebody had let me borrow their Chrono Trigger, and I, I could have stuck on a boss, and I was like, oh, can you get me past it? And then I never saw it. Like he he was like, oh yeah, sure, and then he let, never let me borrow it again, so I never got it. <laughs> But, well, um, now you have a, a copy of it. Now I do have a copy, and then as soon well, you have the cool copy too because it's got the cutscenes that are like the Dragon Ball Z ish artist cutscenes. I don't like Dragon Ball Z. Well, but it's the same know. artist that did Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, the the cutscenes are actually pretty cool. Also, so yeah. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to finally sit down and uh, and get a chance to play it. On top of like all the other all the other games that I have to play, <laughs> I'm really. I was kind of hoping that maybe I could convince my husband to figure out some way to hook up my PlayStation so we could record it on the computer. And he said, no. <laughs> I was like, hey, honey, wouldn't this be cool? He's like, that would be awesome. It's not gonna... <laughs> you can get an emulator. Well, no, it will, you can get an emulator, but, like, to... Um, you can also, like, there's a... Like a thing that you can hook up to your computer that, like, basically is a DVR. Oh, yeah. Or your, your computer... Or your... your you can hook it up to your systems, and it's a DVR, and it downloads onto that, and then you can upload it to your computer. Well, and you probably a lot of people do Twitch, right? They Twitch yeah. versions of like them playing original old video games, yeah. and there's like these competitions where they're they're like marathon competitions. Yeah, actually, um, uh, <coughs> Plus Two Comedy, uh, Noah Houlihan, who was at the event, the comedian, um, they have Battletoad competitions. Oh. Wow. <laughs> All the time. Do, do they end as soon as you get to that one? I I don't I don't. I would like <laughs> screw battle. My husband says battle. screw Nelson battle toads. Screw battle toads. I I don't as soon as you know. Get to the, what is it? The Rocket generator. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm not entirely sure. I know that um they they started doing stuff on Twitch and I'm really excited to this to me totally plugging friends of ours. Uh, <laughs> I'm excited. No, no, they do. You can you, you donate money and they'll do things to screw up the other. Like they'll stop and do the cinnamon challenge, <laughs> or like they have to take shots, or they have two guys, one controller. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've seen something like that. So, I've seen a blind challenge on Punch-Out before. Uh, <laughs> so you, you, you cover somebody's eyes up and you have them play Punch-Out. That sounds... Somebody beat it and took them like months to beat it. <laughs> I can imagine. Because <laughs> you just have to do it by ear. That uh, That's depressing. <laughs> and funny at the same time. So, um... Okay, well, okay, so, so the lovely cat has joined us. Hey, I'm the lovely cat. So what? Okay, so you're. What's amazing is you're complete. Not only completely supportive of this, the the, the I trident. I am enabling of it. You are because yeah. the trident. He told me the trident. You made that for him. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. The triforce, the triforce lamp sorry. over there. Yes, I made that for him. I totally lost nerd points right there. <laughs> Same trident. <laughs> the Triforce lamp, which yeah, is amazing. Yeah, I was taking a uh, stained glass class. My first thought was, you know, what's the geekiest thing I can make that would also be simple to start with? And yeah. I was like, oh, Triforce. Yeah, it lights up pretty cool. Yeah. That, it, it's amazing. We're going to have to get some, I'm going to have to get some video of it lit up and add it to a... Uh, to of course, any time we go out and make, make stuff, we, we went to a ceramics place. And I made like that question yes. art. It turned out terrible, but it was like, yeah, it's adorable. <laughs> I it, have a Tetris light socket over there. I have two in that basket. Oh, in the basket. Yeah, <laughs> like a Tetris light oh, cover. Okay, yeah, that's adorable. <laughs> but it's just like, you know, it sticks in your head. You're always thinking about games. You're like, oh. Yeah. Well, that's kind of that. That's how we did ended up doing. That's how Real Women in Gaming came across. It's like we're girls and we play games, and that's what I'm thinking about right now. Like, <laughs> I, I, you know, I live right near King of Prussia, the second largest mall mm -hmm. in the world, and like, um, like I had friends who were like, "Oh yeah, new clothing stores going on." I was like, "But they took the arcade. Yeah, <laughs> the world is ending." And this is like 20 years ago. The arcade's been going forever. Um. But I'm just excited that there's more There's more than one type of video game. They have J Street Games, which oh, yeah. you frequent. Yeah. 
and they have GameStop. And that's where I go in. I go in and I check Hot Topic and I check those stores and I'm yeah. and I go to Uncanny and no, that, that completes my route of the mall. <laughs> it used to be nice you could go to like any mall anywhere and you find an arcade. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You just don't find that anymore. No, and it's it sad. Kind of obscure. Me, me and my roommate uh, Aix, we we put in the Coventry Mall had a. Uh, Gauntlet, not the the original. Not Gauntlet. Gauntlet Legends. I think it was Gauntlet Legends. Yeah. It was one of the. You new... could like save your character. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we oh, had college. I we, played the part. Oh game. my god, we <laughs> put so much money in that stupid machine, and we, it had saved for characters. So like, whenever we would go, we had a friend who lived across the street in the town in the apartments, and we would stop by the mall, like when we had nothing better to do, and like we would we would play like morons, and we lived we lived in in Paoli. It's like a 30 minute drive <laughs> to go play because it was the only arcade was in Coventry. I think they still have, I think they still have one. I think Exton has a tiny one, but it's yeah, been they a have little, a little mini one. But yeah, it's been it a long like time since I've been there. box arcade. Yeah, it's like yeah. claw machines and stuff. And yeah. I think there's a couple of like typical arcade games there, but there's not much. Well, I'm actually, uh, um, Uncanny has a couple games, but they don't have games on Actually, there used to be like a huge arcade in Downingtown. Do you remember that? Mm. Was it Cat? I don't know. I know. Uh, oh, there is a there is a new place, and I'll have to. I'll have to. You can throw adult birthday parties there, and it's a giant arcade. Oh wow! So I'll have to. I'll have to send you the yeah, information. Yeah, you have to send. It <laughs> well, we, we go to Hershey Park because the work has a big Hershey Park event where they basically rent out the park with a, a bunch of other companies, and uh, we go up there, and they have a, an adult arcade section, and it was so really cool. It's like massive. It's, it's massive, 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 and they have like, like original Super Mario Brothers in the arcade. Wow, they have Double Dragon. Crazy. They have like your old old school games, and we're it's a lot we're of fun. Have to check that out. Oh, it's a lot it's of fun. It's kind of hidden in there. But yeah. It's hidden it back in one of the places, of but yeah. So, so Kat, I have to ask, what was your first video game? My first video game was Quest for Glory 1, and I played it obsessively, because I was always more of a PC gamer than a okay. console gamer. I was like, I don't know that game, but No, now no, you I, wouldn't, because okay. it's, it's all PC, <laughs> so like the Quest for Glory and the King's Quest games. I uh, we were just talking about this. Up. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I was really, a bit, there were two games I loved, it was, um... Betrayal at Crondor and something and Tara, which are, are two games that were kind of like um, uh, King's Quest. Um, and I used to name I, I used to name one of my characters Antara Crondor. And somebody was like, I've played those games. I was like, you're my new best friend. <laughs> these are two very obscure computer games that almost nobody knew about. But I was really excited, excited to when I was telling Eric, I was very excited that when the uh, King's Quest was redone Mm -hmm. but i haven't played it yet i'm nervous i played um the remake of the quest for glory 2 it was actually done by like a private company it was pretty cool did you play the the new one that that just came out on the xbox no yes there is a new one no (laughs) what What? What? (laughs) and cat leaves the room quickly uh, (laughs) there is a new one that came out you can uh, you can get it on the xbox Talking about King's Quest? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But I think it's a telltale game, so yeah. I think it's an episode. Okay. Like Yeah, episodic, yeah, I remember yeah. looking up that one time and you have to like buy the six episodes. Yeah, six it's just six. like the the Walking Dead and um and uh Game of Thrones and uh what was the other one? It's the uh the fairy tale. Fairy tale, one. yeah. I know that people who uh, developed Quest for Glory are developing like a hero you. Huh. It's like an online hero university kind of thing. Oh, that sounds and like it's fun. It's supposed to be like a like a multiplayer game coming out soon. I don't know when. But we'll have to play it together. I threw them some money, so. Here, take, <laughs> take, it out. take my money. Give, <laughs> yeah. give me nostalgia in return. You're like fry. <laughs> you see all those memes? Take my money now. <laughs> take my money. Um, so, should you actually go out and help him? Like, find the cartridges? Oh, and... yeah, absolutely. And, like, yesterday I found the uh, PS2 Slim. Like, yeah. I've never played it in my life, but I know what it looks like. Yeah. I was like, oh, my honey's probably going to want this. <laughs> this was great, because it was a PS2 Slim uh, Silver Edition. It had the controllers on it. Wow. It didn't have the, the, the AV cords and stuff, but I already had one. Yeah. So it was great. I was, like, upgrading to a much nicer model. Nice. And then almost all of those that are in boxes... Mm-hmm. She bought me for birthdays or Christmases or yeah, I'll try to always. So she always tries to get in me in, in box games. Yeah, is that Star Tropics? Yeah, yeah. that is yeah. Star Tropics. I yeah. actually yeah, that's he the first one I got him. He yeah. got me that for Nintendo. He got me that for. And I think birthday. it actually has the original letter in it yeah, too. Yeah, it has the original letter. 
<clears throat> I, I well the fun I like it, Snow Tropics is one of those nostalgia games where I was like was really excited that I had it and I went back and I tried to play it. I was like, oh god, I forgot how awful yeah. ev- <laughs> everything is. Like, oh, I played that for such a long time and then I just kept dying a lot. I'm like, I actually this. I think I beat Star Tropics, but the thing is like when you get so you're like I've been playing. Dragon Age Inquisition on the Xbox One and like these beautiful Xbox One games. So to like go all the way back to a Nintendo, it like hurt my soul a little bit. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm just going to. And, th- and then it came into, I'm not going to get rid of Star Traffic. I'm going to own this game and never ever play it. But when we got, um, a friend of mine, Heidi, bought me the the uh, retro system that plays Nintendo, Super Nintendo, mm. and Sega games, and. Um, we sat down. And we're like, all right. Me and Vel were like, we're gonna we're gonna play Nintendo, and it's gonna be good. We're gonna play Super Mario. We got so mad so quick that we rage quit. Like we rage quit within like an hour. I'm playing Super Mario. I'm brother. playing Super Mario <laughs> Brothers. Because Did you die. Didn't Ethan say that? My brother's girlfriend's kid came over, and he was playing a game. He's like, this is really hard. Yeah, it was like Super like, Mario Brothers. It's it, and and saying things like Nintendo hard is so it's, true. It is so true. I mean, it's like this is back before you had the internet. Yeah. So if you're trying you had to no beat, idea where you're doing. If you're trying to be uh, Dragon Warrior One with oh, yeah. with no man, yeah. I mean, all you had's the manual with you. All you had's it was in the box. Well, that's why I just said and I, you're trying to find like the staff of whatever and the you know you you're you're touching everything, you're searching everything to try to find it. I yeah. cheated so hard playing the tablet version of Final Fantasy One because I there's no idea there are dwarves in this stupid tunnel that give you obscure clues as to what you're supposed and to you're do. And dri- you're taking your ship all the way around, going in every cave, and then, dying. Like, and then like you're like, and then there's a level eighteen monster attack. And you're like, holy shit, where did you come from? <laughs> Like, it, there's level two, like, five steps oh, ago, and then you get into a river, and you're dead, and you're like, I don't even know. No idea. But that, that's the point, is, like, it was NES hard, and you would spend months playing these games, because you didn't know where anything's at. Have you, have you heard of the React channel? Yeah, <laughs> they did. We watched, we watched some... <clears throat> them playing Contra. Contra. Oh, gosh. I was crying. They are like... What? You get hit once and you're dead? And Troy and me and Troy are like, yeah, bitch, that's how it works. You get shot, you're dead. You don't take 16 bullets and a knife to the head anymore. When we were five years bullet, old. I did. I did. I'm laughing. I can't. I know you guys can't see it. I'm laughing because my husband is blowing a Nintendo cartridge right yeah, now. Yeah, I was thinking that's an awesome sound. <laughs> like, if you recognize the sound. Though. If you recognize the sound, that's what's happening. But, Which one are you trying to play? Mike Tyson Poncho. Ah, yeah. Might can, be a little Wait, crazy. can we blindfold you? <laughs> <laughs> can we no. videotape you blindfolded trying to play this game? No, because I got to re- I gotta remember the Oh, black thing. screen. That was my favorite when you could hear all the noise, but you saw nothing. <laughs> yeah. A lot of them are temperamental. I have to go in and polish all of them. But right now, I'm just collecting. I want to get to about 700 and then just rent some kid down the street. Be like, hey, you want to pay? I'll pay you a dollar cart to polish all these. <laughs> You give me, you give me like two bottles of wine. <laughs> I'll get it done. <laughs> um, but I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, it was so. <laughs> I'm go check on cupcakes. Okay. Oh, there are cupcakes. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I'm gonna cut this short because they're cupcakes. <laughs> um. Oh, hit the reset <laughs> button a couple times. So close. <laughs> Ah, it's the top loaders. My top loader is starting to get iffy. I'm going to need a new pen adapt. Replace the pens. So what you might want to try to do is this. Try it. Let's see what happens. It's closer. So close. Right, you're close. But watch. No, you got to like wiggle it a little forward. <laughs> you know, you buy a top loader and you think, oh, this is going to be better. But what happens is the pens get start getting loose in it. Yeah. And I'll have to get a pens replaced eventually. It was a... Uh... It, it was finicky machines. I mean, now you just... There you go. go. Now do you remember the code? No, I forgot. Oh, I don't remember it either. <laughs> what am I talking about? It's like some phone number or something. That's I, would get, I would get owned by Mike Tyson right now because I remembered what the... C, the so you get owned by Glass Joe instead? <laughs> no, I won't get owned by Glass Joe. It'll probably be Bald Bull. I'll probably get up to Bald Bull and get owned by him. Um, 
But uh, I used to remember the sequence for Mike Tyson, but I can't remember it anymore. I think actually, I think we, I think you and I, were, you and I were talking about that, or no, maybe it was. A- well, it's another one of those any has hard games. Because yeah. if you get the Mike Tyson, it's like you just have to learn the pattern, and it takes forever. And oh, it was, it's he brutal. flashes when he flashes. Yeah, I think it is. But um, but it's just brutal because it's like you miss it once, you're dead, and you got to restart. You know. He that was also I, I think Mike Tyson was like one of the first athletes to get his own game. Oh, I mean, there was that, and there was like Bo Jackson basketball oh, or I baseball. About Bo Jackson. And, yeah, Bo Jackson was popular, and then Bo there's knows. well, there's like. Bill Andretti's NASCAR and, you know, like, so there's a bunch of personal sponsored games and stuff like that. Wow. Bill Lambert's Combat Basketball, you know, which I think was in Super Nintendo, actually. Um, Joe Montana Football. Joe Montana Football, yeah. I mean, so there's a decent number of them. But this is by far the most popular one because oh, it's yeah. it's hilarious. You just get knocked out yeah. <laughs> by Glass yeah. Joe. No. <laughs> I refuse to get knocked out. <laughs> So well, I this is this is amazing. Nope. I'm really impressed. I know I know you don't think it's very much, but like I for, mean, for for me, I mean, this is this is the stuff. I, that I you know I look at my list after the after a while, and it's like, wow. I mean, I've accumulated five hundred and some games in the last four years. Like I, this was one of my dad's favorite games, and you have two oh, copies of it. That's actually for a donor cartridge. I'll I'll use that as a donor cartridge to make a reproduction oh, 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 oh. cartridge. At, what Aston Yannex? Aston X. Aston X. I think that's Aston how it's pronounced. <laughs> that um, that was a uh, that was one of them like that and Golden Axe and Contra and like and what was the X X Z Y something? Zers Zerses or yeah. Zers. <laughs> I think they just put those to get make it be the last game so that because people look at the last game and the first game yeah. of an alphabetical. They're list. like, what can we do to screw it we'll up? Put an X, a Y, and a Z, <laughs> and yeah. some W's or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean this is this is amazing and, and thank you so much for letting yeah, us no come see your collection and my husband <laughs> play as many games as he can get in before uh, we go back to reality. <laughs> and uh, So yeah, well and thank you and thank you again for participating in our event. Yeah, no problem. And donating. No problem. Yeah. You donated a color Game Boy. Yep, yeah, yeah. I still got one. Uh, up yeah, there. you still have one. Like, <laughs> that, case, that case looks like exactly like the one Yeah, that I had, had an extra case and an extra set of games. I ended up picking up. So we'll have to. Uh, we have some uh, that I won't. I won't talk about while we're recording, and I will tell you afterwards. But we have some exciting things coming up. Cool. That we're gonna do, it and we'll have to have you on as a guest. Yeah. So, well, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. And for talking. Thanks to for, for thanks for coming down. Forty three <laughs> minutes. <laughs> we'll edit some of that. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll edit a little bit. Um, and all right. So thanks everybody for listening. Um, and again thanks to Eric for letting us come in and to his house and look at his collection and take a ton of pictures and and talk about his stuff and pet his cats and uh, have a great night